Hi there, I'm Julie Ebersole and I'm thrilled to be doing a video for Hero Arts today. I'm going to show you in this video how to make this sparkly holiday card design and I'm going to be working with the Holiday Cheer stamp and die set and the dies are made by Sizzix. They're wafer thin and they coordinate perfectly in this kit with the stamps. And the stamps are cling mounted, ruby red rubber, so it takes only a brief second to get them mounted to your acrylic blocks. And I'm going to ink up my stamp images with the Hero Hues grass colored ink pad and then I'm going to stamp it off onto scratch paper. And then I'm going to re-ink it again, but this time only on one side. My ink pad is actually tilted to get just that one side re-inked. And this technique is called the rock and roll inking method. And it's a great way to get a shaded effect on your stamped images. And it looks like I used two ink pads when I really only used one. And then it's time to cut these stamped trees out and I can position those dies right over the top. And the great thing about the dies is that the cutting edge is right along that inside line. So exactly where you see it framing up, that's exactly where it's going to cut. And then I use washi tape to hold those dies in place to keep them from shifting as they go through the machine. But you could also use post-it notes. And run that through your machine. And then you're ready to uh, remove whatever uh, post-it notes or washi tape you use to hold everything in place and then pop those images right out of the dies. And it doesn't get any easier than this. No fussy cutting involved. And then I'm going to put them face down into my little Xyron X machine. And I have instructions on there because I teach classes at retail stores and sometimes it's... Uh, uh, hard for people who've never worked with the machine to know exactly what to do with it. So I put that on there in case I'm not right there to show them. And then you just pull that down out through the other side of the chute. And I like to uh, use a stylus to go all along the edges and burnish those edges down because sometimes when you do this you get little adhesive boogers. Can I say boogers on TV? <laughs> and that's a great way to get rid of those little stringy adhesive thingies. So we'll peel off the liner paper and then we're ready to take our images and put them face down again into a tub of glitter and I use gobs of Prisma glitter so I get my little jars and I stick them all into this plastic tub and it's a lot easier for me and flick away the excess with a soft brush and oh my goodness they're just dazzling they sparkle so much fun so now we're ready to create our scene and I'm going to flush mount the largest of the trees against a panel cut from some pool cardstock and I use tweezers and I guess this is a curious thing for people I, I, I'm unusual but <laughs> I, I always feel like my hands and my fingers are really big and they get in the way and I can't see what I'm doing and so I like to use tweezers to get a better view of what I'm doing and then I cut a swoopy line just freehand no rhyme or reason to it out of some white cardstock and then I'm going to mount that over the top to create a snow bank and then I'll just flip that over and trim off the excess that piece was a little bit too long okay a lot too long <laughs> it's okay I'll use that piece for something else <laughs> and then it's time to stamp the greeting and I'm using black ink because I really want that greeting to stand out and in the lower right corner I figured would be a good spot while everything is nice and flat still and now we're going to add some dimension by 3D mounting the smaller tree with some foam mounting tape and this will help give some dimension and depth to the little scene here by putting that popped up in the in the foreground there and then we'll mount that to some black cardstock because I think it ties the sentiment which was stamped in black and just kind of brings that whole thing all together quite nicely framing it and then I decided because uh, if some glitter is good then more is better so <laughs> I had to embellish my snowbank with uh, a little bit more glitter so I'm going to do that really quick <laughs> I was sparkling by the time I was done with this design so alright now it's time to take that finished panel and mount that to a card front and I love these cards they are already pre-scored for you and folded for you and makes card making very quick and easy and get that on the front and press that down into place and that's it and I wish I could have caught the sparkle and dazzle on film with the camera it's really hard but in real life it is spectacular 
So I hope you'll give this technique a try. It's a really fun favorite of mine. And thanks for watching.